so guys here I am on the fifth floor of Hobson one check out all the cars over here who we got Expo over here we got Mercedes with their EVs EQE SUV very nice and then we got the BYD booth over here and then also Rising Auto Rising Auto is pretty nice as well this car the F7 doing massive price cuts as well Wow, take a look. Very nice design car. And of course, also capable of doing battery swap. Very nice. Here we got BYD. Ho, ho, ho. BYD, right now, the best seller in China. BYD, of course. Very nice little room over here. Whoop. Here we got Hi-Fi. Hey, is this Hi-Fi? No, 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 this is Leap Motor. Leap Motor. Leap Motor, they have a line of EREVs, very nice. This is one of the new brands, I forgot what it's called. It was uh, Robo something, but yeah, pretty nice. Uh, in Chinese, it's called Jidu. And then Voya, they kind of changed the outlook of uh, this whole entire place. Here we got Hi-Fi, this is Hi-Fi, of course. Hi-Fi Z very nice looking car hi-fi Y. this is i actually saw this on the road today this is the same price as the es6 very decent car take a look at the inside boom wow very nice hi-fi and then here we got uh avatar 1-1 Avatar 1-1. Look at that. Pretty decent looking. Avatar 1-1. This is also one of the uh, ES6's main competitor. Pretty cool. And then here we got Hican. Hican used to be called a uh, used to be called G GAC Neo, but uh, Neo pulled out of this brand. Look at that, pretty nice MPV. MPV is the next hot trend. Definitely should have gone for a MPV. Over here, I don't know what this brand is. Yundo Cloud, I don't know what this brand is. Of course we got Tesla. Tesla over here, and then we got Denza. Ho ho, Denza and the Zika over there. I, wanna, I always wanted to check out Denza N7. This is a pretty good car. And then we got the Denza D9. These lights look really good on the road. I've seen this a couple times on the road. Denza N7. We got Voya. Very nice, Voya. Take a look over here, we got Arc Fox. Pretty nice. Uh, we do see Arc Foxes on the road, but not that often. Lee Auto, of course, Lee Auto sells pretty well. Look at how many people are checking out Lee Auto. A lot of people checking out Lee Auto. Pretty nice. Wow. They got all three cars here. L9, L8, L7. IM Motors. This one is pretty nice. Uh, LS6. Very good car. LS7, a little bit expensive, but uh, the LS6 isn't available in the showrooms yet. And of course, uh, partnered with Audi, the L7 looks fantastic. Very good. I, see, I, I saw one of this on the road the other day. The design just looks fantastic. Very good, very good design. The, the ducktail looks really nice. Most important, the, the tuning of this car. SAIC and Alibaba. Just take a quick look at the interior. Of course, you got the yoke steering wheel. Very cool. Nice. Here we... And over here, we got Zeker. Zeker 001. This car sells quite well here in China as well. Fantastic looking car. A wagon car. It looks really nice. The interior, pretty nice. 
Look at the design of the interior. Very, very elegant. Soft, soft seats. Very good looking car. They just came out with the FR version, which has quad motors and is able to do zero to 100 in like 2.1 seconds. Pretty insane. We'll take a look at the store overall, pretty cool. As you guys can tell, the competition is still very, very intense. And there's so many of these different EV brands out there displaying their cars. And it seems like every now and then there's a new vehicle model or a new brand that pops up with some new flashy tech that garners some interest amongst uh, people that don't know anything about EVs. Now, very soon, Neo is also going to be placing their store on the fifth floor. And right now, there's an emphasis on market share to express to customers the market share that Neo has in the luxury EV segment. This, of course, is very important because it tells you guys who's actually ahead, who's actually the one that customers are choosing. Because some of these other brands, they barely get any sales. And slowly but surely, some of these brands will die down. One of them, Weltmeister. Last time when I came here, or, or even longer before that, two years ago when I came here, Weltmeister was there. One year ago, Weltmeister closed down. This year, right now, Weltmeister is no longer there. Such a big brand. Uh, they used to be considered a very big Neo competitor. And Neo even uh, bought one of their cars way back, a couple years back, and just took it apart to do research on the car. But looking at it now, you know, that brand has just completely died down. And soon, a lot of these guys will also die down. Now, since there's so much of an emphasis on market share and expressing to customers the amount of market share that Neo has, I think I'm gonna recommend to management that they actually have posters in front to uh, sh showcase how well they were selling. Now, Neil has done that in the past and in other cities they're doing that as well. But that would of course very quickly get people up to speed at what tier of a brand Neil is compared to the other guys. So it is like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're ahead, you're doing well, you're first in terms of sales compared to the other guys and you show that off, it validifies other people's decision to choose a Neil and you get more sales and rinse and repeat. So don't get me wrong, even though price war is very intense, but Neo is definitely not a loser. Neo is a winner. Now, what would be a really big win for Neo is if they can upgrade that Neo store, Neo space to a new house. Now, I was told by the sales rep over there that if the Zara store ever runs out on their lease and decides not to renew it, which it's very unlikely that they won't renew their lease, Neo will potentially put a Neo house over there. And that would just be a big, big win because there's so much foot traffic. That Zara location is right at the front door. You're going to get a ton of walk-in volume. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.